this big box of Valentine's just exploded all over me. And there was the confetti everywhere. And I mean, it was really sweet, but I had to get the vacuum cleaner out and, and try to sweep it up before Valerie got home. That is so weird. I mean, this woman, Victoria, has been, I, I feel like she's stalking you ever since you met her at the vacuum store and you were looking for a new vacuum. She just, she wanted your phone number. You thought, okay, Thanks. new friend. But this is like, she's sending you gifts that are blowing up. No, Vicki, I mean, you remember when we were in high school and, and I, you know, I mean, I've always been a little bit shy and I was so proud of myself for like coming out of this, but I think you're right. I think this lady is actually stalking me. I mean, who would send a big box of confetti valentine that's going to explode to somebody's house knowing that they're in a relationship. Well, she definitely wanted to get your attention and make and make an impression. I mean, that, you know, look, as your best friend, I'm just being honest with you. I think you need to let her know it's a little too much and you don't want any gifts from her anymore. Well, I mean, I, I did like the Rolex. You know, I, I did like the Rolex, but you know, darling, I think the Cartier would have probably been just as nice. Well, d darling, you know, there, there is a, a, a ban right now. I mean, it, the, uh, the, the people in, at the country club are, sort of looking down on some of the things from France right now. There's a, and so I don't know that Cartier is, is socially acceptable. Oh, mon Dieu, are you kidding? I'm sure it will pass, but yes, there, there seems to be, a, you know, I've heard that, I, I've heard that they've even stopped serving creme brulee at the country club. Oh, oh, I can't, no, 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 no. I cannot hear that. No vichy soir. No. You know, all things that are chic are French. And and that's what we live for here. I mean, oh my God, darling, what what should I do? I would say just wear the Rolex until it passes. And then we'll get you a Cartier. <laughs> oh, all right. It, it does it's, rather smart on me, doesn't it? I think you look beautiful. <laughs> you look beautiful. I am so proud of you. My my younger sister is finally graduating from high school. Oh, you know, it was hard enough following you being that you were God, you were the star in everything, and I hated you our first two years in, in school, but, but I've learned from you, Mandy. I have learned from you. Well, I knew that you would excel, and you really showed such, such talent in woodworking. I, I, you... You know what? I see you making furniture uh, and and really excelling in in this in your life. Then and and ever since I got off of probation for making that statue of Principal McGillicuddy, I've learned my lesson. You know, I'll tell you, that actually was a really good statue. I mean, I I understand that you did things and that I'm yeah correct and everything yeah yeah so i understand where they had to go with all of that but i i really think you're talented and you know i'll tell you um just one thing though uh. you know when you when you do carve wood yes you know you have to be really careful that you don't 
you, it can't look like the real thing. It's you, you're too good. So, so the fact that, that, that I carved that, that, that right sized vagina is, is really a problem. I, I, I oh, understand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got to do some kind of caricature of it so uh, that you, it really makes a big difference, but it was so real. Mm -hmm. I kept staring at it and I mm -hmm. thought, oh my God, you are, you're, uh, you're going to be it. You're going to be in, 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 you're going to make it. That's all I know. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. And you're going to make it big and be as lifelike as you possibly can. All right. So now be careful. I don't want any of you kids to chop off any of your fingers. I don't want to have to rush you to the hospital. Wood work is a fine art. You have to be careful. Mr. Martin, Mr. Martin, I, 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 I agree with you that we have to be careful. I, I, I just don't think that, that I'm going to be able to do much with this plastic knife from McDonald's. <laughs> Valerie, you have always put uh, all right, I mean, I'm going to call you Debbie Downer. I mean, <laughs> you just give up. You just well, give up. This well, is the first project, and just you need to just dive into it and, and create a sculpture that we're all going to be proud of. Then I, we can give you some sharp tools. I, I, well, if I could make a suggestion... I mean, I know that balsa is the softest wood, but if you're only going to give us plastic cutlery, maybe maybe give us like frozen blocks of butter or something to start on until we get the until we get the the system. Then we can go to wood, but because all you're going to have is a bunch of broken broken knives. Who's the teacher here? Me or you? Freeze. Honey, who's the teacher here? Me or you? I mean, I I know that I'm a virgin, but I kind of been reading up on this and I would like to try some things. You've been reading up on things, huh? Okay, well, I've noticed that there's all sorts of apparatus in our bedroom here and it, it kind of looks like Cirque du Soleil or something, but <laughs> I'm trying, I'll try. I have insurance now, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I read that, uh, well, let me tie you up first um, with some, uh, some rope. I won't make it too tight. Oh, oh, oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's good. I was in Girl Scouts. I know how to make those square knots. Yeah. Uh, 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 okay. Um, and then, oh God, I wait, chapter 12. You know what? Say, wait, wait, maybe we should take our clothes off first. So why don't you untie me and then we should get naked. We should get naked. We've been scouting out this, this water hole for all, for ages. Finally, uh, nobody around. Let's dude. Jump in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. You first. You first. Okay. All right. Oh. oh. Whoa. Mother of Pearl. It is cold in here. How was the, how was the, the, the journey down? Well, there's fish in here, too. Aren't you coming in? Wait All a right. second. My turn. Come on. Woo. Let me see it. All right. Oh, I think everything I have just shriveled up. Oh, God. My God. It's refreshing, don't you think? Oh, uh, uh, who's that? Who's that stealing our clothes up there? Oh, those boys, they're stealing oh, hey. our clothes. Fudge sickles. Oh, my God. Ooh. 
somebody's playing a, playing a prank on us. Well, we'll show them. We'll show them that we're women of courage. Right. We'll show them. We'll show them that we're women of courage. We are not just transgender. We are women. That's right. That's right. Because it's all about who you are inside. That's right. So let me ask you. Did you have your bottom surgery yet? Yes. You did? Yes. Oh, my God. I mean, I, I could barely sit down for a little while. Yeah. <laughs> but now, everything has come together. I, I, I feel like the woman that I have said that I am for a very long time. And it feels good. You are glowing right now. You, Thank you. you have a vagina. I know. My whole life I've wanted a vagina. I, well, mean, I mean, I remember that girl in, in, in middle school that wanted to give me her vagina, but that really didn't work out. In yeah. fact, that scarred me for a little while. Oh, I would imagine. But once I got over it and realized that it wasn't an ex external thing that I was looking for, but something internal. That's where I made my change. You know, I'll tell you when I found out, when I knew that I was really a woman, when I was growing up as a little boy, I used a McDonald's knife and I tried to cut my weenie <gasps> off. Oh. Yeah. And they had to rush me to the hospital. And oh my goodness. Yes. Your heart. Yes. <laughs> I know. I mean, I had I had a little scar there for quite a long time. Oh, well, that went away, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Now it's just a small fry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I never got the surgery, so I figure, you know what? It's kind of like, I mean, I have the best of both worlds. Fred, Fred, you know, I have the best of both worlds. You know, loving you and loving Anne-Marie, I think, I think it's just so modern of us to, to be like this. And I'm so glad you're understanding. Oh, yes. You know, it, I, I, I feel so free now. You know, it's mm -hmm. like I don't feel like I have to to hover anymore and just provide you with all this love and constant attention and <laughs> gifts and just well you know. honey I, I i don't think you have to go on and on about oh, that oh my but, god uh, and the <laughs> conversations like oh if I, if i don't you know <laughs> what i love is that you know it's like when you just get in that rambling mood and you just want to go on and on and on and on and on and on i can just turn you over to her and yeah. she is just she you know because she's kind of like you and a, a little chatty kathy kind of girl uh she, you know you guys just go back and forth and i can just go watch my football games and be happy <laughs> well you know i'm i'm kind of coming to a conclusion here Freddie, that, um, you know, maybe it's best that we, we kind of split up because I don't think I need you anymore because Anne-Marie seems to understand me and fills all my, all my needs even better <laughs> than you do oh. sometimes. <laughs> so oh. uh, I think that, you know, my brother's a lawyer and, and he'll, he's going to help us out get the papers drawn up and uh well you know funny that you should mention that i uh, your brother and i have been spending a lot of time together and uh -huh. no there just seems to be some bond that we have and well, he's, he's like gay this, you know i know 